Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have a huge selection of Walker's crisps that have been sent to us by our kind viewer Richard from the UK. Thank you, Richard. Yes, thank you very much. We always look forward to crisp sampling videos, and we definitely have tried a variety of Walkers, but these are all ones that we have not tried these flavors. We've got some vegan ones. We've got one Walker's Max and some nice meat flavors and a few one-offs here. Yeah. The um, We have some Sun Bites that didn't quite match anything else, so we'll try those. And also the um, Watsits and Quavers. Yes, we have a total of nine here, so it's a Walker's Palooza. Yes. Okay. So we're looking forward to getting into these and trying them. What did you want to start with? Anything in particular? Oh, they all sound good, and I, I mean that sincerely. I mean, we have what, roast chicken, smoky bacon. Yeah, barbecue, barbecue pork salad. ribs, grilled cheese toasty, flame grilled steak. And that's yeah. a vegan one, too. Yeah. Well, sound good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they all sound equally good. Um, I don't know if you want to start with some of these vegan ones. Sure, why not? Unreal flavor, unbelievable vegan grilled cheese, toasty, limited edition flavor. You know how I love those limited editions. You do. <laughs> like drawing a moth to a flame. You see limited edition and you just grab right at it. And of course you love cheese. And so do I. Yes. That smells really good. Wow. Mm, thank you. Mm. Definitely getting that cheese flavor in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That definitely has cheese flavor to it. Introducing new Walker's Unbelievable Vegan Crisps, a delicious range of meat and cheese flavor crisps that are unbelievably vegan. Whether you're vegan or not, we deliver unreal flavor with every bite. Yeah, these are very good. I like those. Yeah. There you go. I like can't a... keep my hand out of the bag. <laughs> All right. You don't know, like a toasty vibe? I'm trying to think of it really does taste like a grilled cheese toasty. Definitely getting the cheese. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would have known it was a cheese toasty, but still very good. How about you? Kind of get a little, little toasty flavor there. Yeah. But um, definitely the cheese. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I'm very curious, the next two we have that are on the vegan line are actually meat flavors. So this will be interesting. We have vegan barbecue pork ribs, another limited edition flavor. Nothing up there? Okay. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those have a lot of scent to them. It only tastes like a barbecue sauce. Does it? With a bit of meaty flavor kind of yeah. lurking in there. That's funny because I was actually getting more meaty flavor than barbecue sauce. Yeah, I was getting a little bit of both. Now I'm tasting a bit more of the sauce, but still a lot of meaty flavor. It does remind me of like if you have like, you know, barbecued pork. A bunch of barbecue sauce on it. Yeah. yeah. It does capture that flavor, I'd say. It just strikes me that these are vegan, but they, they do have that real meaty flavor to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I really like these. And I, I know I've said it before, other times we've sampled walkers and, and other... I like how they're not overly seasoned. Overly seasoned, yeah, because as I've mentioned before, barbecue crisps, chips that we have here. Sometimes they're just over seasoned for me. I don't care for them. A little bit too much on the sweet side. You don't really get like the meat flavor coming through. It's just mainly the barbecue. Yeah. And I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of barbecued pork ribs. Yeah, it's true. I'm not a big rib person, but one of the reasons is they're so fatty and messy to eat. Well, I don't get that with the crisps, so they're, they're I'm so good. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I, I like barbecue ribs just fine, but I will say that they're a little bit messy mm -hmm. to eat. 
but um, and also I, as I mentioned, I like how they're not just coated with like a quarter inch of <laughs> artificial coloring, and here I go to wipe my hands on your tea towels, and you give me the look like you better wash your hands. I don't <laughs> want you to see any of that residue on the tea towels. No, never with these. Haven't seen anything quite like that with the walkers. Okay, I'm done talking about your tea towels. <laughs> so next up we have flame grilled steak in the vegan line. Another limited edition flavor. Do that. If you would like. Okay. I don't think I smelled as much as I did on the barbecue ribs, though. I, I smelled something very meaty. Mm -hmm. Definitely savory meaty. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm in your favorite here. You're like, how'd they do that? How'd they make that vegan? How'd they make this vegan? <laughs> What kind of witchcraft is being done here? <laughs> How do you make this vegan? What was that brand we had that we looked for at Cost Plus? And it was the steak. And then we didn't see mm. it anymore. That was Kios. Yeah. And I, I love those. They were a little bit on the salty side where these don't quite have that same level of saltiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they do seem a little saltier than the other two, I think. But these are not as salty as the, the Kios, in which I appreciate both, but it's nice to have it just not so salty. Yeah. These are super good. Love how it captures that, mm -hmm. that steak flavor. Hmm. This could be a hard decision, I can tell. Mm -hmm. Hard to carve from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> hmm. Those are good. You're cleansing the palate with the barbecue ribs? Yeah. Okay. Really liking both of those. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those were the unbelievable... Unreal flavor, unbelievable vegan. Okay. No. Next up. Next up. That was correct me up when I, I see Pizza Hut. Was, this is the Walker's Max. Yeah. That's when I, I think of like potato chips, I don't... Crisps. I don't think Pizza Hut. Yeah. But these are new Walkers Max Pepperoni Feast. A little Pizza Hut logo down there. <laughs> and I haven't been to a Pizza Hut in years, and I think we've said that before. When was the last time? What, high school? Yeah, I can't remember. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a very long time. Just love Pizza Hut. Mm. Mm. If we get a tomato sauce. Mm hmm Smell to them. Oh yeah. Boop. Mm. These are ones with ridges on them. Yes. Not bad. I'm testing the pepperoni. Slightly. Mm-hmm. It's in there. I'm tasting the pepperoni. But I, like you were saying that about the tomato, I think I'm tasting the tomato. Mm-hmm. With it, maybe the tomato's a little bit stronger than the pepperoni. I think so too. It's like kind of a tomato pizza sauce flavor with hints of pepperoni. <laughs> no complaints. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Enjoy. Was it Walker's Max also that we tried? It was Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, they were. <laughs> and those were fantastic. Yeah, those were really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. We have... We have six remaining bags. What would you like to try next? Um, let's try these Walker's Baked Cheese and Jalapeno. Now, was there someone that was referring... I think we had a comment where we tried, it was a baked corn snack, it was cheese and jalapeno, and someone was saying that they 
didn't believe that the jalapeno flavor was was that was strong. the zebra the zebra i think yeah and i thought when we would try it yeah we could taste the cheese we could taste the jalapeno but the jalapeno wasn't like super right right super yeah spicy. those were the loaded the the seabrooks loaded i think yeah yeah so these actually have 50 percent less fat 96 calories never fried These also have some ridges, but they just kind of have that look of the more baked crisps. Yes. Mmm. Definitely has more of the jalapeno hits you in the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. First thing you taste is jalapeno. Mm hmm. Yeah, this one definitely has more kick to it, I'd say, than the Seabrooks. Yeah, these are spicier. If you're looking for something spicier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are definitely, like I said, have a little more kick to them. Mm -hmm. The cheese and jalapeno combination. Mm -hmm. These are good. Yeah, so if you like more of a spicy, these would be the ones. Mm -hmm. Definitely taste the jalapeno more because I, I did enjoy the Seabrooks too, the yes. more subtle. Mm -hmm. Not too much of a spicy kick. I'm not sure if I care for the cheese flavor on really? this as much. In what way? Can't put my finger on it. <laughs> so you definitely notice the jalapeno. Yeah, my lips still have a little tingle. Yeah, in cheese the... is in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, They're awesome. still good. I like them both. Definitely eat them down. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, a little more kick than the Seabrooks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since we're on a cheese kick. Want to try another cheese? Now we got what's it? Making an executive decision. I'm not even going to ask you. I'm just going to grab it. <laughs> yes, this is a what's it? Really cheesy flavor crisps. Limited edition. Yes. Oh, so they're Walkers, but they're Watsits. I know we've had them before. Yeah. Are those the ones that are more similar to Cheetos? We will soon find out. <laughs> These look more like Oops. But see, I think that's the difference, because see the picture on front? I think they usually look more like that, like the Cheetos, but these are done more like a crisp. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe. Mm. They're kind of capturing that Wasps flavor into a oh. Walker's Crisp. Mmm. No false advertising. That is really mm -hmm. cheesy. No. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Maybe more cheesy than this grilled cheese toasty, would you say? Side by side comparison. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, these are more subtle. That's a tough call, but maybe these do have slightly more cheesy taste. Mm -hmm. They're both good, though. I'm trying to think. Now it's been a while since we had the Watsits. I thought they were more similar to the Cheetos. I might like this flavor a little bit more in the... In that format. I don't know. Do you know the side-by-side -side comparison? Yeah, I need to have a Watsit. Because these are... I think the Watsits maybe are more like the corn. I wonder if they're corn-based. I can't remember. Yeah, and I then these are potato. Those are good. Could easily inhale a bag without even trying <laughs> and without any guilt whatsoever. So. All right. What so next? We have four bags. We have four walkers here and we have a Sun Bites sour cream. So 
What do you feel like? Uh, let's, let's try the sour cream sun bites, which look like what we have here called sun chips. Yes. They look very similar. They, these, these look like identical, even in the packaging, the color of the packaging. Our sun chips here, love them. Yeah, the logo even looks a little bit like it. Yeah, it was something like at work. So in our snack bar, they always had sun chips. Sun chips. I know, when you, when you grab for a sun chips, you feel like, oh, I'm being healthy. Yeah. <laughs> it says whole grain. Whole grain, so yeah, you implies. Yeah, so doesn't that look healthier right there? <laughs> it just screams, I'm a healthy snack, bursting with healthy goodness. Mm hmm. They are mm -hmm. good, though. Yeah. Sour cream. Some about that flavor, it does taste very similar to our sun chips. They have yeah. that kind of a distinctive flavor. They do. Must be those whole grains. <laughs> yeah. And the texture, too. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, love those sun chips. These two, yeah. What's that? Sour cream flavor. I'm trying to think what flavor we had in the, the snack bar I'd pick up all the time. Yeah, I think they come in a variety of flavors. Yeah, the regular, and you know, the sour cream and onion. Oh, this is sour cream and cracked black pepper flavor. Hmm. See, I wouldn't be surprised if we have sour cream and onion. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I'm whole grain. Feel healthy. <laughs> now I'm getting the pep. Yeah, the pepper flavor kind of stuck up on me. I'm getting it. Yeah. Is it, are you? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Not a lot. Okay. We have three walkers roast chicken, smoky bacon. And barbecue sauce. What do you feel like? Let's try the Quavers. Quavers barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> now we've had Quavers before. Do I remember them very well? No. Because <laughs> we just had so many wonderful Brit snacks. Now oh, they look nice, light, and puffy. Yeah. I'm trying to remember are these the ones that kind of almost melt in your mouth. I don't know. Ever so light, ever so curly, every quavers, ever so twirly. Have some fun and twist your tongue around each one. Each looks a little different from the next, but all are curiously crunchy, mouthwateringly melty, and oh so boldly barbecued. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the ones that melt. Yeah. Very, very light. Mm hmm. Very light, crunchy. Are you letting it dissolve? I'm still kind of crunching on them. Okay. But they do have a bit of a melty quality to them mm -hmm. when they're in your mouth. Yeah. This is what I call a guilt free. <laughs> These are so light. I was said before. Inhale an entire bag, not feel any guilt mm -hmm. whatsoever. Hmm. What do you think of the flavor? Yeah, so these just say barbecue sauce, not like any meat flavor. I like them. What do you? I like them too. Yeah. Again, it's not as heavily seasoned as our barbecue. No. Which I like. No, not super sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're down to two. All right, let's mm. go for the crispy roast chicken. 100% great British potatoes. Mm. Very light. Mmm. Mmm. More flavorful than I initially expected when I spilled them. Oh, this is tough now. Yeah. I thought those flame grilled steak ones were going to be a fave. Yeah, these, these have a lot of chicken flavor to them. It's nice. Yeah. Got that roasted. I, I feel guilty taking such a That's big a big. <laughs> 
thought you were going to split it with me. All right. I was just going to hand it. Now I made a big mess. Now I made a big mess. <laughs> I felt guilty taking a big picture. So. Those. Yeah, those are nice. Mmm. Mm. These are wonderful. Crispy roast chicken. Yeah. Does taste. It has a strong chicken flavor to it. Yeah, this is very nice. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Yeah. For sure. Oh, the dilemma. <laughs> but we have one last contender. Yes. The last one is sizzling smoky bacon. And Finn just is staring at me right now. <laughs> you can hear all the bags crinkling. Yeah. And when I said bacon, he looks at me. We both love bacon, so. Oh, all three of us love bacon. <laughs> Mm. This just makes it tough. That's good, yeah. No, yeah, this just makes it harder to pick. Yeah, these really do have a very like, real bacon flavor. It doesn't taste like artificial bacon. That's very good. Mmm. This is going to be a tough call. This is going to be a very tough call. Oh. You know what I want? I want just like a grab bag, pour them all in a big bowl, <laughs> and just see which one I pull out. You want a collage of crisps. Yeah. Let's see. I think I enjoyed them all. So we've tried every single one of these. So you know what I'm going to ask you, young lady? What was your favorite? You know, that's going to be a tough call. I think if pressed, I'm... I think I really enjoyed these last two, the roast chicken and the smoky bacon. I really like that smoky bacon, but both of these had really nice flavor to them. Those, I think those two might come out on top, but I, I enjoyed something about every single one of these. Yeah. The vegan ones were good. Yes. You know, with the different meat flavors. Always enjoy cheese. And the sun bites. Something about those, you know, you're in the right mood and that's kind of what you want. Yeah. Very good. How about you? Okay. First off, Richard, thank you very much. Enjoyed all of these. But if Thanks, I had to, Richard. Yeah. If I had to pick, pick a first choice, it'd be a even draw between... Oh, yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. I, I sound like I'm copying you. Yes, these Walker's Crispy Roast Chicken and Sizzling Smoky Bacon, the last two that we tried. Just love that flavor. I mentioned before, sometimes you're eating chips, crisps, and it has, uh, oh, it's flavored this, and you're eating it, and it almost tastes like, yeah, that tastes like something trying to mimic <laughs> chicken or bacon and does a mediocre job. No, these taste like chicken and it tastes like bacon. Second place, I would, pardon my reach. Second place would be these unbelievable vegan flame grilled steak. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Uh, but again, enjoyed all of these mm -hmm. and thank you very much and we'd love to know what your favorite is. Yeah, thanks Richard for sending us all these different flavors. It's so much fun yeah. to try these. As we mentioned before, we don't see as many of the meat flavors here no. in our um, American chips. So it's very fun to try these. Yes. I think we did get some from Lay's. It was a limited edition flavor. They were BLT and those were actually pretty good. We enjoyed those. Yeah. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Yeah. Or they reproduce the flavor of lettuce <laughs> in a chip crisp. Question. But yeah, you're right. Those those BLT, that variety was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Had a <clears throat> decent tomato, like tomato sauce and bacon yeah. flavor added to it. Oh, the, these are not going to last very long. No. <laughs> in fact, I think when the camera shuts off, we're going to be digging into these a little bit more. Yeah. All right, so let us know in the comments if you have tried any of these and have any favorites. And if you like food reactions, food tastings, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.